Thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can make these um, candy bag labels. Uh, and this is kind of what they look like. These little cellophane bags that you can buy at Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or pretty much any craft store. Um, and you could fill them with different candy. My sister-in-law asked me to make these for her son's Valentine's Day, so I did. And you can very easily just staple these on the bottom. Um, you could probably do a better job stapling them. I, I just kind of did it as a... Um, overview so you could see what it looked like, but uh, you could very easily line up the staples perfectly and you can really put anything that you want to um, on here. But again, she asked for a Pikachu Pokemon, um, so I went ahead and created these. All right, um, so this is what they look like in Word uh, before you print out. And as you can see here, there's these light gray lines. And when you take a look um, within here, you can you can see a tiny bit of that light gray line up there, but I still think they look pretty cute. And again, the gray line just gives you an overview of where you should cut, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and show you how you can create this. Very first thing we're going to do, oh, actually, before we get started, I also did want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel. And uh, on my channel, I do show you how to make everything from bunting banners to um, invitations that look like tickets. I am working on another concert ticket, um, but these kind of came up and they're pretty easy to show, so I thought I'd add this video in here. I also do want to point out that we have searching, installing, and using symbols for fonts. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video and it will clear things up. Please subscribe to my channel and or like any of all my videos, I would be so appreciative. Alright, let's go ahead and recreate this. The very first thing we're going to want to do is go to File, New blank document. And we do want to do layout options and make this a landscape um, because these are going to be much wider than they are longer and um, portrait just doesn't work. Uh, we're also going to want to click on the narrow for margins. It just gives us a little more real estate to work with. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a table. And what we want to do is we want to make this two across and two down. So this is going to make two labels. Okay, one label over here, one label over here. This will be the front and this will be the back, okay? Next thing we wanna do is highlight this. We wanna right click once we hit on this little um, cross up here. We wanna right click and we wanna to go to table properties. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to specify row and height, we're gonna do 2.5, okay? And that's gonna be the height of each one of these. And under column, we wanna do 4.5, okay? And we wanna press okay. And here's the out outline. Next thing we want to do <clears throat> is we actually want to make it easy to cut. And what I mean by that is you see we have like this space in between here so we don't cut into the label um, or you don't cut into one or the other label. So we're going to go ahead and create that spacing right now. So we're going to go up here and we're going to right click and we're going to go to once again table properties. And we want to click on table and we want to click on options. And we want to click allow spacing between cells and we want to do 0.03. All right, now we have that nice space in between there. Now we wanna change the borders and shading because we obviously don't need this outlying border. Um, and we wanna make this gray instead of black. So again, you can barely see it, but it still gives you enough where you can see the lines to cut across. So then we wanna click on table properties and we wanna click on borders and shading. And from here, we wanna go ahead and click on this light gray, just enough so you could see it. Um, or you could even do a little bit darker gray if, if you wanted, kind of up to you. And then what you want to do is you want to click off of here on these sides, okay? So as you can see here now, this gives you a graph of what you can see, right? We, we don't want to see these outlying. We just want to see where we need to cut, okay? And we want to apply it to the table, and this looks right. So we press OK, and we press OK. All right, now we have the outline of what we want this to look like. Okay. Next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create some circles. So we're just going to go ahead and insert shape and we're going to click on circle. And we're just going to click here and we're going to do a control C or right click. And we could do copy and then we can just do a paste and then we can click again and do a paste. And we could click again and do a paste. And we just kind of want to move these around so we can make these bigger or smaller. And now if you're um, <clears throat> um, a little anal and you want to make the circles exactly a circle you could always go up here and make this you know 1.21 1 
If you don't care and you just want to eyeball it, you can do that as well. But you basically just want to make these bigger and smaller. Um, I'm going to have these kind of coming off of the Valentine, but you're going to cut across it anyway, so it doesn't matter that it's coming, uh, coming um, outside of the lines, because again, you're going to be cutting it anyhow. Let's go ahead and make this 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and we could do another one right here, make that one a little bit smaller, make this one even smaller, and then we can right click and we can do a copy, and again we can just go back and do a paste, have this one kind of come up here. And we can do another copy, a big one, and we could do a paste. And I'm, again, just kind of putting circles in here. And we can do copy, and we can do paste. And we can copy the smaller one, and do paste, and do paste. Oops. So that was important. <clears throat> This was still selected when I hit paste, so it pasted over that. So you want to be sure you click outside and um, the shape is not selected before you hit paste. Let me go ahead and make this one just a little bit bigger to kind of vary the widths. And again, you can do sort of as many as you want. Okay, that looks about right. <clears throat> All right, now what we want to do is we want to click on Format. And we want to do a shape fill. Let's do this one purple. And we want to do a shape outline of purple. And down here, let's go ahead and do a shape fill of red. And let's go ahead and do a shape outline of red. And up here, let's do a shape fill of orange and a shape outline of orange. And over here, we can do a shape fill of yellow. And you just want to go ahead and randomly change the colors of these. And let's go ahead and make this one. I don't think we have a green one yet. Let's go ahead and make that green. And let's go ahead and make this. I don't think we have a dark blue one yet. Shape outline of dark blue. And let's do this one orange. And again, you can just kind of willy-nilly pick these colors. And down here, let's go ahead and make this one red. All right, now what we want to do is get our Pikachu. So we want to go, um, I like to use Google, but if you like to use Yahoo or Bing, feel free. And what I want to do is I want to type in Pikachu, and I want to type in Pokemon, and I want to type .png. And the reason why I want a PNG is because I want to have the um, background translucent or transparent. So what I mean by is, do you see these little gray and white checkers? This means this is a transparent background, so you're not going to get white around the edges. Okay, um, I actually go through this in detail in my Working with Images in Microsoft Word video if you have any questions about that. Um, but again, you want to work with a um, .png, not a .gif or a .jpeg. Again, this is .png, and again, you want to look for that gray and white background. And we can, this is just Pokemon PNG 22, or we can just call this Pokemon, whatever you want to call it, okay? And we can go up here and minimize. And now, we want to go here and ensure that one of these is not selected and you're, you're kind of outside. And you want to do insert pictures, and let's insert our Pokemon. Okay. very first thing we want to note is that we can't really easily move this around. So we want to click on Layout Options and we want to say In Front of Text. Okay, Or you could always right click and do Wrap Text, but you want to do In Front of Text. Now you can very easily move this around and you can also make this bigger and or smaller. Alright, so let's go ahead and move him like right there. Okay, And then the very next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box. Let's draw that right there. And you want to click on format of that text box. You want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. You want to write I, enter, choose, enter, you, enter to be my Valentine from Bryce. And we want to highlight this because we see the um, spacing is, is a little off. We want to go to home and we want to go to line and paragraph spacing and line spacing options. We want to be sure this is set to zero and this is set to single. 
Okay, that's going to move all that up, which is what we want. Now the font I used, and you can play with the fonts, you can download fonts, you can do anything you want, but I used Bodoni MT Black, and this is a 36 point font. To be my Valentine, I used a Arbani, and that is a 28 point font. And we can go ahead and move this on up, and we can move this text box up down. And from Bryce is five year old font, and that is 18. Okay, those were the different fonts I used. Finally, the last step is you want to go ahead and center this. And then from Bryce, we actually moved all the way over. And you can just highlight choose, like Pikachu. I choose, and we can go ahead and make that red. And if you want to, you can also highlight this and make this red. And we can move this red down a little bit so you can see it. And that's it. Now if you wanted to copy all of this and move it to the next, you want to click on one of the um, objects or the circles, press, hold down the shift key, and click on the next. While you're holding down the shift key, click on all of the individual objects. And then you want to press control C, hold down the CTRL button, and then C, and then click up in here and press control. Again, hold down the CTRL and press V for control V, okay? Um, one or two of these circles you might have to grab. So again, you can just kind of move them over, hold down the shift key, grab these two, press control C, go to here, press control V, and you can just kind of move these down here. And you want to right click and do send it back. Okay? And then you can just move this little Pikachu back up. Um, so that's it. That's how we do this. And actually, you know what, before we do that, I apologize. I'm going to press um, backwards because I just noticed that all of these Okay, so I want to, and I apologize, I noticed they were all down. You want to hold down the shift key, press control, highlight everything. Okay, press control C, click up here, press control V, but if you notice, everything's moved down, so while all of these objects are still selected, you want to press the arrow key up, and this is going to move them all up and keep everything consistent. Okay, now from here, you can just move this little Pikachu over, Highlight these two. Nope. Press Control C. Press Control V. Move these guys over. And then press right click and do send it back. Okay. There you go. And that's how you can very easily create these um, really cute candy bag wrappers and or labels and we can move the I choose you down here a little bit more. There we go. And that's how you can very easily recreate these. I hope you found this useful. Um, you can use these again not only for Valentine's Day but birthday parties, favors, anything like that. Again I do man manage and monitor the chat lines on my YouTube channel so please if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations for videos please put them on there. Um, I am working on creating a backstage pass for dance. Thanks so much. Please like my video as well if you found it useful. Bye-bye.